Hi all, uh, welcome to this new lecture series on the topic robotics and controls. Uh, I'm Aman Singh and I'll be teaching you this new course uh, on robotics and control. And let's uh, today in today's lecture, we'll uh, introduce the topic. We'll look at several robots that uh, uh, are around us in commercial market and also look at various applications that these robots are solving. Then we'll also look at the logistics of the course. So basically schedule what will be the syllabus and, uh, and several textbooks and how will the notes be shared. Uh, all these will be discussed will we will be discussing and at the end we'll will will start our first topic of the course that is uh, learning Python basics. So let's go ahead with the course. So uh, robots uh, have uh, slowly and steadily entered the human life. They have been entering human life uh, uh, for since a lot of decades now and uh, and slowly they are in trying to solve more and more problems making the life of humans easier. So there are several problems that robots solve. So some of the types of robots that we have around us are like warehouse robots, aerospace robotics, basically robots in space, uh, which help in space exploration, self-driving cars. These are also a form of robots which, uh, um, uh, which are useful if uh, like which are helpful in not uh, involving any human in driving cars. So you might have he heard of Tesla cars which have autopilot feature and slowly this technology is improving and maybe in the near future we don't need people to learn how to drive. Then there are drones. This, these, these are the flying, flying robots and we also have four legged robots or robot dogs you can say uh, which walk like animal and have several benefits over the wheeled robots which we'll discuss and then we have humanoid robots robots who look uh, similar to humans and are mostly being looked at a solution for general purpose robots a robot which solves general purpose uh, things so a robot that can be used for anything that a human does and uh, so yeah so let's look at some of these robots so let's look at the warehouse robotics so on the left you can see some robots which are handling material so these uh, this is a manipulator which is lifting very heavy loads uh, without any human intervention and this automation improves the productivity and these orange robots are from Amazon warehouse where they handle the products the e-card products uh, from movement from one place to another the difference between these two robots is one of them is fixed base the manipulator and the other one is mobile so it moves from one place to another to handle the uh, and handle the with the material on the right you can see there's an assembly line for automobile industry and uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, manipulators or uh, robotic arms are uh, manufacturing the cars automatically without any human intervention or as little human intervention as possible so these kinds of robots entered the market uh, several decades ago and have improved the productivity of assembly line and several other manufacturing uh, facilities in 10 times or 100 times. So yeah, so these are the kind of robot that are there working in the commercial zone these days. Then there are aerospace robots or the robots in space. So these robots are generally useful for space exploration. On the left, you can see NASA's Perseverance rover and uh, this is a highly advanced rover. This was sent uh, a few year, years ago um, and was quite in the news. And it's uh, it explores the surface of the red planet Mars and sends uh, scientific data back on which scientists can know much more about the life on Mars. On the right, you can see ISRO's Pragyan rover on Moon. This was this rover was sent with the Chandrayaan uh, mission. Um, which landed last year from India's uh, space organization uh, ISRO. And um, 
it uh, sends a lot sent a lot of pictures of the moon surface uh, back uh, to back to earth and uh, several scientific data also these not only help explore the um, the extraterrestrial bodies but also um, help us improve uh, help the hu humanity improve its scientific endeavor and scientific technology um then there are self driving cars so tesla cars you might have known they have been uh, in news uh, quite a lot they have a autopilot feature here you can see a car is running without any human intervention and running quite effectively and um, if you go to phoenix arizona in usa there are even taxis which has no driver at all so you can just order a taxi it will come to you you sit at the back and there is no driver and it will go or to the destination and it's um, there are several videos on youtube that you can watch and it's really amazing so even there are several challenges to bring these kinds of technologies in developing countries but still it's a great scientific achievement and it, this is a problem that robots are solving these days as well then one of the most important or most successful robots in the commercial sector these days are drones so drones have penetrated the commercial market uh, most more than any other other robot has done so there are several ap applications that drones solve especially the quad rotors as you can see on the left hand side one of them is like shooting or shooting a video on the right you can see a drone shot which is uh, which would not have been possible without a camera on a drone with conventional filming techniques uh, two other very important application that uh, a drone has is uh, terrestrial mapping so 3d terrestrial mapping has been made very very easy with quad rotor and it takes a, a very less time and second one is surveillance so it is mostly used in defense for surveillance uh, uh, surveillance of an area or maybe in 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 protection or used by defense agencies uh, then uh, one of one of really upcoming robots or you can say uh, the, the robots that have been uh, flooding the the market and the robotic commercial space are the four legged robots on the left you can see a spot it's a boston dynamics product it's a, a very technologically advanced uh, company that makes very good robots one of them one of the commercial products or first commercial products was spot so these legged robots are are helpful because they can have they can walk like animals in difficult terrains where wheeled robots cannot cannot go here you can see it's uh, opening a very difficult it's opening a door which is very high, highly difficult task for a robot and uh, it it is doing it carefully but you know, um, but it is uh, able to do it on the right hand side you can see unitary b1 it's a product which is which is made for high payload capacity legged like robot so you can see it is able to carry a human so yeah so these kinds of robots will slowly flood the uh, for the market as well right now they are mostly used in inspection of inspection in factory or mostly for entertainment like you might have seen spot dancing uh, videos online but yeah slowly they'll solve much more important problems then one of the most uh, most uh, talked about robots these days are humanoid robots robots which look and feel in shape and size like humans and a promise to become general purpose robot uh, a robot which can do anything uh, that a human can do uh, because this world is made by humans for humans so these kind of robots have their applications on the left you can see boston dynamics atlas very highly advanced research robot it's not a commercial product doing backflips and it can do much more it it can do highly dynamic motions which uh, which uh, tell us the capability of humanoid robots on the right you can see uh, two commercial um, robots from two commercially operating machines on the top it's digit from agility robotics uh, it's their product digit and it is used for logistic in for handling material you can see it is picking and placing boxes and uh, in in their proper places so they are 
designed to work alongside human beings in a warehouse and uh, someday re uh, 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 replace humans or uh, so that they can uh, uh, they can uh, focus on much more important tasks and the bottom this is tesla this is the first video of the optimus that they released and um, the robot is much more advanced now and so tesla is also entering the humanoid market so all these robots are useful now let's get back to our uh, our course what it, what will be taught so first who should take this course so this course will be helpful to second and third year undergraduate students with, who are interested in robotics uh, preferably as their first robotic course so for example many uh, robotic undergraduates at least in india are interested in robotics and they get their first robotics course uh, as an elective in their third year uh, or uh, sometimes in fourth year as well uh, most of the students are self taught so you if you are in second year and maybe taking part in some robotics competition you can follow this course to get the fundamentals of robotics clear and later on you can take a course uh, that is provided by your institute people Okay, who are also interested in specific topics so for example in the future we'll also talk about trajectory optimization or maybe linear control will slightly touch them if they are interested you can take this course for that specific topic and anybody and anyone who is interested can join the course there is no restriction at all but this course is designed especially for uh, for keeping in mind the second and third year undergraduates who are about to take the first robotics course now will the notes be provided yes notes will be provided and how will they be provided the link to the notes of each lecture will be provided in the description section so each videos whenever i post a video on youtube the description sec section will have the notes the pdf of the notes uh, so yeah you can have a look at that so what are some prerequisites so prerequisites uh, are these the dynamic of mechanical system you should be able to write dynamics of simple mechanical systems at least uh, which is generally taught taught in your schools you should be familiar with matrix calculus trigonometry ordinary differential equations at least uh, to some some level of uh, comfort you should have um, and things that you are not clear about these topics will get clear along the way but yeah at least you should be aware of these topics third prerequisite it's not a hard prerequisite is python if you have heard about python it's a programming language which we'll be using uh, to uh, to do simulation or like do experiments on the things we teach in this course so however basics of the python will be covered so if you not familiar with python don't worry we'll cover the basics how the python works and you can uh, like uh, take up from there now schedule of the uh, the course so videos will be uploaded on tuesday and thursday each week at 5 pm the, uh, each video will be around 15 to 30 minutes long some might be longer depends upon the topic but mostly it will be between 15 to 30 minute video lectures and if there is a change in schedule i'll i'll i'll, I'll inform you guys um, it will be through a post on youtube channel so don't worry about that uh, because um, yeah now software as we already sp have spoken we'll use python and for software development environment we'll use visual studio code so these are the these are the uh, the software that are generally used and uh, visual studio code we are using we, you, you can use any software developing environment but we'll be using video studio code so um, it gives a nice way of uh, editing your file as well as running uh, running it on the terminal so that what i like about it so we'll be using that you can install these these software they are very easy to install you can uh, google them and they there are several they, they are very easy to install these these uh, software so i don't think it should be a problem i won't be going into how to install this software they are fairly easy so please go ahead and install them now asking questions so how can you ask questions you can ask questions in the comment section of the video i'll try to answer each and, and every one of them uh, and uh, that's how we'll communicate uh, um, now let's look at the syllabus so what all things are going to be taught so first python basics so first two lectures i think i'll teach uh, python's basics of python like uh, how to run a loop how to run an if else statement or how to write a function basics and then later on we'll also in python basics we'll learn how to animate something so because we want to uh, 
we want to see how our robot uh, uh, works when we are writing its controller algorithm. So uh, we'll also uh, learn how to animate things in Python. We'll, we'll then learn coordinate frames and homogeneous transformations. We learn forward kinematics, inverse kinematics for manipulators and differential drive robots. We'll learn Jacobians and its applications. We'll then learn dynamics, how to write dynamics of a robot and through Euler Lagrange equations. Then for a few, few lectures, we'll learn optimization basics, trajectory optimization and trajectory generation. We'll also learn some control of the robots like feedback linearization, linear control. And then we'll also we'll try to understand these coordinate frames and homogeneous transformation in 3D motions and the DH algorithm for manipulator. So this is the course, overall structure of the course. This is, uh, this is what I thought would be nice for uh, for a person who's taking its first robotics course. Um, references and textbooks. So this course is based on a lecture series, Robotics Fall 2023 on YouTube. It was given by Dr. Pravanam Bosle. He's an assistant professor at University of Illinois at uh, Chicago. And uh, most of the course, course material is from that course. And the book that we will try, that this course is based on is Tiny, you can find it online, tiny.cc textbook. It's an open source book. It's not very fancy. The diagrams are not very fancy, but yeah, it's open source and uh, it's developed by various professors. One of them is Dr. Pranav and uh, you, you, you can have a look at that textbook. Now let's start with the basics of Python and uh, I'll, I'll now move to the, my Visual Studio code structure and, uh, and uh, uh, we'll write a few basic codes, try to run them and see how Python works. <laughs> 